Billy. Mr. Burr. Miss Mr. Burr. Where's my drink, man? You drink, for a little you drink your alcohol, oh, boy? Boy, I ain't drink no alcohol, man. It's a slush, man. Bill Burry Burr. Good old slushy, guys. Motherhood isn't the hardest job. Whoa. That's what it's called? Motherhood isn't the hardest job. Wow, Bill Burr. Uh oh. Uh, this friend, uh, uh, I mean, hey, Bill Burr be staying straight facts or something. <laughs> I'll be like, dang, Bill. This is my first time watching Bill Burr. For real? You got bro. You didn't watch I Bill Burr before, bro. No, I didn't. Me? You did, bro. I promise you. You didn't watch that one when he uh, was talking this, about the show that you did Bill Burr right now. My bad. Gold Diggers. He wasn't here. Yeah, the Gold Digger one. He was here. He wasn't here. That was Ross? No, it was me, you, and Taj. Uh, it's right here somewhere, bro. Rock did it, bro. I did not, bro. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Yeah, he didn't do this. Alright, watch this. Watch this. I'm finna show you. You've done one. You've done like two with Chance, two with Stuff. See, I'm finna see you watch this. What? Yeah, bro, I thought it was bro. right here. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. Yeah, bro. I am wrong. This is, this is your time. first time Bill Burr for real, bro? Yeah, it's Damn, crazy. bro, that's crazy. All right, bro, this is your first time. First time Bill Burr, let's get it. Go ahead, First it. time watching Bill Burr. Go ahead, get clicky. Bill Beasy. How are you? Fantastic. Oh, I've seen it. I, I did watch him. But, but I watched which video him. was it? Which oh, video? No, was but it? I, I seen him before. For sure. On a reaction. My girlfriend, yeah, right? Was she likes watching the on? Oprah Winfrey show. I and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. And then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with. And then I take it out of my girlfriend because I'm an asshole. So. Oprah brings out this guest, she gives her this huge intro. She's been on this, she's been on that, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother. So immediately I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet? How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? <laughs> Any moms get washed overboard on deadliest catch? <laughs> trying to be disrespectful but what would you rather have as a job you want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean catching that lobster trap to the back of your head or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats mm -hmm. you'd send them to bed anytime you want and some trumped up charges because you want to have a drink and watch the prices right <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe maybe it is the most difficult job I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, you know? <laughs> I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I that thought was it was tough. difficult. But evidently, evidently these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players, <laughs> going to war, pinned down by a sniper. What a joke! You ever burp a baby and forget to put that towel up there? There's another shirt you gotta wash. Oh, lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you. Dude, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. It isn't. I'm sure it's... Yeah, to hell with these mothers. No. <laughs> He's crazy. Cartoons, taking naps. <laughs> Look, I'm messing around, but you know, come on. I know it's a difficult job, but the most difficult job on the whole planet Remember when Saddam let the oil fields on fire and those poor bastards had to go put them out? 4,000 degrees, walking in with your little asbestos shield, just walking into flames. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest with yourself. <laughs> I got a dog recently. I did. I went down to the pound. I got one of those free dogs. Yeah, that's how I say it. I don't say I rescued a dog. I hate when people say that. It's like totally obnoxious. It's a complete exaggeration. She's a rescue. Yeah, I rescued her. Really? Did you pull her out of a burning building? <laughs> Did you jump in a river with your clothes still on with no concern for your own safety? Or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog? Isn't that what you did? Go back to like you had to take out a couple of guards, crawl in on your elbows, using hand signals. Dude, you ever go down to the pound and they're just giving them away? They don't even do a background check. You want an egg? Get out of here. What's next? You want a poodle? Come on, you got a perm. It'll be hilarious. Oh, man. Actually, my, uh, my girlfriend got the dog when I, was, uh, when I was on the road. I was on the road, she got the dog. Classic girlfriend move, right? That's just a 10 to 15 year commitment. Why would you include me in that decision? Need to know. So we're Skyping. I thought she got one of those little shit dogs, you know, 
Like a Yorkshire Terrier or something, you could punt across the room if it got out of line, right? <laughs> something you could take your day out on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <laughs> so we're Skyping. I go, let me see it. So she pans around, and I think I'm going to see, you know, some little, little ch chihuahua, whatever the hell those dogs are. I'm, I'm immediately staring at like this hellhound. This just massive dog. And it looks, I start freaking out. I'm like, is that a pit bull? Mm -hmm. Please tell me you didn't get a pit bull. She's like, it's not a pit bull, it's a mix. <laughs> mix with what, another pit bull? Look at that thing. <laughs> it's like it's been doing pull-ups its entire life. Its front paws were still taped up, it's shadow boxing. It's got a teardrop tattoo, it's a pit bull. What more do you need to see? Oh, it gets worse. Her and a friend actually didn't get it down at the pound. They found it by the Los Angeles River. Yeah, this thing was the real deal. She's sitting there going, it was out there for 10 days. Don't you think that's sad? No, it's scary. Because judging by its physique, it got plenty of protein over the last week and a half. It wasn't eating nuts and berries, all right? It was choking out joggers. It was twisting heads off of rabbits. You brought a murderer into the house. <laughs> Just rescue an alligator while you're at it. <laughs> Add to the excitement. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, no, this you know, it's great though, I fell in love with the dog. Conference. Absolutely no, love this dog, and I'm totally oh, sold on the breed. And I know a lot of people don't like pit bulls because they ate a couple of kids. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself at some point in your life to walk down the street with a pit bull. You gotta do it. It's tremendous. People just get out of the way. <laughs> Three, four blocks away, they see me coming, they immediately start crossing the street. I love it. I feel like a king. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's awesome. Black people have no idea how difficult it is as a white man to have to walk down the street every half a block, have frivolous conversations about the weather. Oh, I'm mad thinking it's going to rain. Why? Why do we have to have this conversation? No, it's tremendous. I like the respect. Look at me. My whole life I've looked like Ron Howard. You realize that? My whole life I've been mugged repeatedly. I've never had any street cred whatsoever. The second they see this four-legged P90X body coming down the street, that's it. It's the best dog on the planet. You gotta get a pit bull, I'm telling you, man. It's like a gun you can pet. Get two of them, come down to you, just strapped. All of a sudden, there's no line at the ATM. You like, it's just the whole world opens up for you. All right, let's wrap this up here. I, uh, I had lunch the other day. Uh, I'm a big time conspiracy theorist. I drive my girlfriend nuts. You know, I think they're about ready to microchip all of us. <laughs> yeah, they got this commercial down in the States. You know, they, you got that commercial up here for Duracell batteries. They're selling batteries and the commercial is some woman can't find her kid in the park. That's how they're selling batteries. The hell kind of way is that to sell batteries? Do you remember the old commercials? They just show some guy in a rainstorm, has a flat, pulls out a flashlight. Oh, thank God he had Duracell. You see how wet I'm getting? That was it. Now they're showing this woman she can't find her kid in the park. She's sitting there going, Kevin? Kevin? Has anybody seen Kevin? Sitting there freaking out. Then she pulls out this little device. Beep, 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 beep. And here comes Kevin running out of the woods. And they're like, Duracell batteries. It's like, dude, the hell with the batteries? What was that thing she just took out of her pocket? <laughs> How did Kevin know to come out of the woods? He didn't have an antenna. His sneakers weren't glowing. What the hell is in Kevin that's connected to that device? Don't just show me that like that's normal. Oh, yeah, robot kids. Hey, yeah, must go to Mommy. Hey, I got to see this, man. I got to see this commercial, bro. I thought he boosted it. He boosted it. I got to look at this commercial. I, I just up, realized that he's Bill Murphy in his own show. Bill Murphy? Yes, he has a show on Netflix about his childhood. And he was a fucked up kid. He's a brother named Kevin. That's why I clicked. I was like, Kevin. He's a brother named Kevin. I think his sister's name is like Lucy or something. Did he just call his, the kid Kevin? Yes. His brother's <laughs> name's Kevin. Oh, no. Yeah, he boosted. He wow. This boosted. just, it's all clicked. Hold on. Daricel. He's the voice of his dad. His dad's an asshole. I thought, yeah, I thought Daricel was. He's making it up, bro. Oh, <laughs> God. I'm just no, I just want to see you. I just want to see for real, though. Brickhouse trusts. What the hell is that? That is insane. So even if you hope you <laughs> 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 Hey, we got 
got soda. Hey, Bill Burr. Bill Burr was clipping. Wow. Hey, we got soda. What was that happening, guys? Bill Burr said, "What was that?" No. Look how he popped up. Cut that. Cut that. That is so funny, bro. If you think all batteries are the same, consider this. It was a beautiful day in the park. Kevin, can you hand me that? That turned to panic Kevin? in an instant. Kevin didn't name it all. And everything depended on a brick Kevin? house child locator. Kevin! Kevin! And packed inside every locator is the only battery what brick house trust. What the hell is that? I don't Duracell. know. Like, how the hell is that supposed to tell you so where your son is? you hope you'll never have to use it. You got the balloon? Bill said, nah. Where'd you get that balloon? They got the mic for him, was too. Out. That son was they all. He tested it. Where the hell did he get the balloon from? He was all chilling with Pennywise the Clown. <laughs> this was in 2008. Camping. Yeah, that was some BS technology for 2008. That's crazy, man. That looked like a pregnancy test. How it looked, really. Yeah, like, what the hell? <laughs> 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 All right, Bill, you the go, bro. All right, man. Yeah, Bill never failed to make his laugh, bro. But we out of here, man. Hey, he never Bill, fails. Got some more. We gonna take out that Philly one, man. That Philly, I forgot what it's called. Philly rant. We gonna take that out, man. Next, man. Maybe later, guys. But yeah, we'll, we'll be with y'all later, man. Uh, we appreciate. It. Let's get it.